Hello everyone. In today's video, I am introducing one of my favorite kitchen appliances. It is my air fryer. And I have the New Wave Brio, which has a three quart capacity basket. And today I will be showing you how to fix strip steaks. They always come out delicious and tender. So hang around and join me today on Sandra's Homespun Life. I bought these steaks at Sam's Club this weekend. They had a sale on them for $7.98 a pound and I believe they are about an inch thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by removing the plastic wrap from the package and once we get that removed we're going to drizzle olive oil over each steak. Now I have two seasonings that I like to use together for my steaks. One is the McCormick's Montreal Steak Seasoning and then this Garlic Herb Seasoning by Mrs. Dash. Now after you've drizzled each steak with olive oil, take each one of these seasonings and generously season each steak. Now after you've seasoned all your steaks, what we're going to do is flip each one and repeat these steps again. And once I've flipped these steaks, I like to take my fork and mash down on each steak to help incorporate that seasoning real good into the meat. Now after you've seasoned your steaks, if you're not ready to use them immediately, you can store them in a plastic bag and set them in the fridge till you're ready to get them out and cook them. Uh, but if after you season them, they're really, they're ready to go if you want to put them straight into the air fryer. Okay, let's get to cooking. First, remove the basket from your air fryer, and my basket will hold two of these steaks. So I'll start out by turning the power on, and I will go over to the temperature settings and set it for 400 degrees, and the amount of time that I'm going to cook it for will be 10 minutes. Following these steps will yield a medium cooked, tender, and juicy steak. If you like yours a little less done, just decrease the cook time on each side by maybe a couple minutes or if you like it extra well done you can increase it but you stand a good chance of drying out your steaks. Now after those 10 minutes is up I will remove the basket and flip both the steaks and repeat those same steps and cook for another 10 minutes. Now I use this digital thermometer to test the temperature of my steaks. This is a very very useful tool to have because it's very easy in these air fryers to overcook your meat and you know who wants to spend that much money on a steak and have it overcooked and basically just be thrown out because you can't eat it. Okay my thermometer is given a reading of right at 155 degrees so what I'll do now is remove the steaks from the basket and I'll place them in a bowl and seal them over with cling wrap and allow them to set and rest for about five to ten minutes that allows all the juices to go back into the meat. Okay, I've allowed my steaks to rest for about five or ten minutes and I've prepared me some vegetables and some dinner rolls and I'm going to plate up. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Check out my other videos and see if there's something that you like there. And please remember to like and subscribe. 